the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 148, Psalms 67 to 72. Offering praise and bulls. When we give thanks and glory to God, who is the source of all blessings, we are able to enjoy the grace of eternal salvation and heavenly blessings on earth. First point. David sang that God is the father to the orphans and the righteous judge to the widows. Psalm 68 is a song of praise, and David sings of God who meets with his people and governs the world and makes justice. David furthermore sings of God who fights for people and gives humans strength. God commands us to look after the weak in society and that his heart is always facing them. Do not mistreat or oppress a foreigner, for you are foreigners in Egypt. Do not take advantage of the widow or the fatherless. If you do, and they cry out to me, I will certainly hear their cry. Strong people can look after themselves without the help from others, but the weak need protection. God especially mentions the orphans the widows and the foreigners. A father to the fatherless, a dependent of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. Second point, David sang that God is more pleased with a true song than offering a bull. Psalm 69, 4 warns about the suffering of the Messiah and also relates this to his own situation of suffering. David had utmost faith that even in such a situation, God was listening to his prayer and with him. And so David praised God all the more and claimed that he was able to be wiser and brave through his faith in God. David waited for his enemies to fall. David knew that no one could make his face fall. God's people put their hearts into persuading them to listen to God. Often, this made them victims of ridicule and mockery. But this did not stop them from delivering the message of God. They were able to go on through faith in God. Psalm 69 records the suffering of the Messiah. Those who hate me without listen, I will number the hairs of my head. Many are my enemies without cause, those who seek to destroy me. I am forced to restore what I did not steal. Jesus later referred to this, but this is to fulfill what is written in their law. They hated me without reason. Also, David's psalm about giving wine during time of thirsty was connected to Jesus' cross. There they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gold, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. Third point, David pleaded to God to help him quickly. In Psalm 70, David called out to all those who called for God, and this included himself. David claimed that God would not forget those who called for him, in the midst of our suffering, illness, or distress. Psalm 70 contains the same content as Psalm 40, verses 13 to 17. David called out to God and asked him to be with him and to help him. David knew that all things were possible for him through God. Fourth point, David sang how God would be with him until he was an old man. In Psalm 71, David prayed to God not to leave him as he grew old. David also prayed that he would rely not on humans but on God all the more as he aged. 
everyone grows older as they think more about death than their future. It becomes difficult to have hope. For such times, David prayed to God for hope. David confessed that God was his refuge and shelter all throughout his life. David prayed that he will spend the rest of his life praying and praising God and also telling the generations to come about God's salvation and blessing. Even when I am old and gray, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your might access to all who are to come. As David grew older, he did not simply give in to his old age, but later turned to God and consequently lived a blessed life. God's focus is always towards one soul, but humans consistently change their focus. This was the promise God gave through prophet Isaiah. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am here. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Fifth point, Solomon hoped that he would be a righteous judge for God's people. In Psalm 72, Solomon asked God for wisdom and also sang of the coming Messiah. And though the king with your justice, O God, the royal son with your righteousness, May he judge your people in righteousness, you afflicted ones with justice. May the mountains bring prosperity to the people, the hills the fruit of righteousness. Israel, who had their foundation in a kingdom of priests, served God as their king. They had the mission to fill their hearts with God and to practice holiness. David was able to practice justice and righteousness by doing so. Solomon therefore prayed to God for God's wise judgment and also God's righteousness. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.